Should you really be doing that? Doing what? I don't have time for this. Yeah, well, neither do I, but sadly I'm stuck with you and this is sort of my job. I don't remember ordering a conscience off of Amazon Prime. Well, I came. Free shipping and everything. I don't need this right now. You cannot hang out with Justin right now. Not even Beaver, you have a paper due. I don't care about that paper. I have time to do it. It's due in 15 minutes. <laughs> Screw Google Classroom, taking away our right to do our homework the lunch period before it's due. Ugh, <laughs> oh, fine. What do you even want to do with the rest of your life? I don't know. Make some dank memes? Become president? Time travel to defeat the Nazis? And do you think you're gonna do any of that while sitting on the couch? I could make some pretty dank memes. Don't you want to amount to anything? I don't know. So you're okay with this lackadaisical lifestyle of sitting on the couch and watching Jim and Pam get married <coughs> over and over again? Side note, why are you so obsessed with that? It's been working for me so far. And answer to that side note, because it's just so beautiful. All right, Elizabeth, let me paint you a picture. In three months, you're gonna be launched into the real world, where as much as I would love it, a life of leisure just ain't gonna cut it. Okay, but hear me out. What if I marry a sugar daddy? Then he'll pay for all my things and I'll sit pretty and lazy. That's, that's your great plan. Marry a man for his money and do nothing. Not nothing. Binge watching Drake and Josh. Okay, but what happens if you marry a sugar daddy who you don't like? Or what happens if he makes you sign a prenup and you lose all your money? Or, God forbid it, what happens if the Drake and Josh jokes just aren't funny anymore? There are a hundred thousand different ors that I could add in here. Okay, it was just sort of a joke. I was just doing what I do, just trying to put some ease into what might be an emotionally hefty conversation. So, you just want to make light of everything? Never take anything seriously for the rest of your life. <laughs> Elizabeth, why are you like this? Normal people aren't like this. They need responsibility or else they feel like they're floating, like they're not tethered to anything on the ground. Why don't you want responsibility? Well, 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 maybe I just can't handle it. I just, I can't handle it. What do you mean, can't handle it? I, I don't know, all, all my life I've been put down, all my life I've been told I can't do it by multiple people, even you. I'm sorry, Dad. It's not your fault, it's just now I'm 18 and suddenly I have to do it. What exactly is it? I don't know, do something meaningful with my life? Become a doctor? Become an actor and convince parents that I'm a good influence only to shell shock them when I inevitably turn to drugs because being a rich and famous Disney Channel star is just too soul sucking? Always gotta make a joke out of it. <laughs> well, that's just who I am. You know that better than anybody. Okay, I get it. You feel like you can't do anything successfully or right. I think everyone feels that way at some point, but you just gotta keep your head up. Hey. You just gotta keep on trying, okay? A lot easier said than done. Well, take it day by day. Start with that English paper that is due well. <laughs> it's actually past due by now, but okay, start with the next assignment. Do it well and do it on time. Get 5% more than you did the day before. And eventually I'll be at 100. Theoretically, yes. Just, I don't know, I've gotten so used to setting myself at the lowest standard, I just don't think I'll be able to come back from that at this point in time. Why do you doubt yourself so much? It's the only thing I can do correctly. Then learn to do something else. Really? That's your great advice. Well, it's a waste of my precious time and energy to tell you that you can do anything. Because, sweetie pie, your chances of being a rap god flew out the door the second you tried to rap super bass. Okay, so now you're just trying to crush all of my dreams, aren't you? Look, you just gotta find that thing that lights a fire in you. Everyone's got it. You just gotta go out and find it. And where exactly would I find it? The real world. Go out and see it beyond that beautiful red glare of the computer screen. Develop the skills that you need so then when you do find it, you can accomplish it successfully and tackle it like an NFL football player. But why would I want to tackle my passion? God damn it, Elizabeth! It's a simile! Didn't you listen in sophomore English? Kind of slept through that one. Do you see what I deal with? <laughs> well, okay, okay. But you're right. 
I really do want to accomplish something, and I'm not going to be able to do that from sitting that on the couch. I have doubt, and that's not going to change anytime soon. But I do have a speck of motivation. I really want to be something. I really do. I don't want my only accomplishment to be most hours watched on Netflix. Then go do it. That's step one. Okay, okay. But like, I have a question. So, what's with all the grilling tonight? Like, I know I totally deserved it, and I get it. But it's not like tonight's any different from any another any other night of my life thus far. Like, why now? Ah, uh, you have no idea how sick I am of Jim and Pam. 